Athletics, football specifically here in this case, is an extension of the educational process that goes on in our buildings. And so, you know, last year, although there were many different obstacles we had to overcome, our kids and our program learned from all the things that go on. And, and it's a great preparation for <laughs> what they're going to face life. Life's going to give them all kinds of turns and curves, and we got to adapt to do the best that we can. So as we strengthen our athletic departments, the infrastructure, we work on developing their physical development, but more importantly, work on their leadership and mental development. We also become an extension of the classroom, which is very important to our student athletes, our families, and especially to our community. I think music education, just like so many things, it, it's uh, the things that it gives the kids, the discipline, the time management, the drive to work to make themselves better every day, every rehearsal, working as a team, we all have to work together to make the whole group better. It is, I think it's invaluable, invaluable. The confidence that it instills in the kids, every audition that they do, they get better, uh, they get more confident, they take that out into the world, into the workplace. It teaches them how to interview better because they're just more confident in themselves Themselves. But one of the other things, I think it keeps kids in school. I see so many kids, and I, over my years with, with being here 34 years, um, I've seen so many kids that stay in school, graduate, get a diploma from Fort Wayne Community Schools because of choir, because of the music programs that we have here. It's the one thing that keeps them in school. It's their love. It's and uh, and and sometimes it takes a lot of talking to keep them here. Sometimes it takes a lot of energy, and it takes everything. But it is so worth it. I've had students come back to me and say later on and as they're you know in their careers that being in a theater class helped them be able to talk in front of uh, other groups of people their uh, employers and employees um, and uh, uh, it's just made a difference and it it just helps create a better well, more well-rounded person and the statistics show that kids who are in, involved in the arts have higher grades um, and are more active in their school and which is important. Our coding club is working on learning different programming concepts through various tools uh, and online websites. I've always really been kind of big into uh, self-regulated learning and uh, student-driven learning so the way I structure those clubs is the, the kids obviously want to learn about coding so I set up uh, different avenues for them to learn about it and then I teach them how to uh, look for tutorials and use the tutorials and pause and go back and look again. Our coding club is using a lot of things like Codable and uh, Code Academy and Code.org. Our robotics club uses uh, our VEX IQ systems uh, to develop robots, they, they design the robots, they build the robots, and they program them. It's all student design, student build, student programmed. When we talk about tech literacy, to me, it means so many different fields. It's not just being able to understand how computers and engineering and, and technology works, but also how to troubleshoot those things, and that takes creativity and problem solving. you got to be able to think around the problem and understand the different options that you might have to test that problem and see what is going on.